Hi, this is Wendy Shuttleworth. Today I'm talking about self-fulfilling prophecy and how we almost create for ourselves what we think we deserve. This has been an interesting thing for me to learn and see, especially in clients that have been abused and women that have been abused, or men, children, whoever, how they keep repeating the same and same pattern again and again in their life because they almost feel they deserve it. So when they look at themselves in the mirror, they almost see somebody that deserves to be abused. And they keep finding that pattern, whether they change partners, they find abuse in their workplace or their next door neighbor. The other interesting thing is also in codependency and how we keep getting into the same push-pull patterns time and time again. And it makes you wonder, when, when will the people break this pattern? When is the time to stop and look in the mirror and, and ask yourself, what actually am I seeing? And get out of the way of ego and you know past childhood issues and look at yourself objectively and start to learn to love yourself. You mightn't be the thinnest or the most sexiest woman alive, but guess what? Maybe your ba your body's giving you babies. That's what I think of when I look at my body. And you know we've all got that lovely stuff called fat, and um, can't even think of the name of the other one. Hmm. Hmm, can't think of it. But anyway, t fat, um, and you think, ah, oh, I should be a few kgs lighter. You know what? You should thank your body and for who you are. Thank your body for giving you your children. Thank your body for standing up and walking, getting you from A to B every day, and your heart for beating, and your, your head for thinking, your nose for breathing, and thank every part of your body, and to learn to love your body and yourself. Because as long as you look in the mirror and you see something negative, you will project that and you will attract negative things to you. And there's only one person that can change that, and that is yourself. You need to basically look at yourself and ask yourself these questions. Who am I and what do I want from my life? And be realistic and be gentle on yourself and learn to love yourself. I hope I can meet you one day and help you with this process. It is my life passion to help people with this process and learning to break negative patterns and give them a chance. I always say, God, whoever he may be for you, is not stupid. He made people perfect. He made them perfect for what they need to learn and do in this lifetime. So please go and look at yourself and realize that you are the most perfect you you will ever be and that's all that actually matters. Thank you. It's Wendy Shuttleworth. Bye.